This is Charlotte, and she is actually our life-size black rhino. Well, Charlotte is here so that kids and actually um, all kinds of people who come to crew get a first-hand experience kind of doing the type of work that crew scientists do. So go and ahead and put that one on. Making science interactive is sometimes a challenge. And we thought, well, we're not sure. This is kind of a funny topic, and it's a little bit, it might be a little bit hard to pull off, but uh, we finally decided just to go for it. And then you're going to take the ultrasound wand. We start talking about doing an ultrasound and explain that it's a rectal exam and the rhinos are trained for it. And then when we ask for a volunteer and we walk back there and lift up her tail, they're like, oh, I'm supposed to do that? But they do it. And, and then when they do it, they're like, that is the coolest thing ever. I mean, that is really neat. It's like a real experience. There you go. All right. So what you just got to is actually the ovary of the rhinoceros. And then it's safe, so they're not actually with a real rhino. Charlotte's not going to hurt anybody. See that tissue moving up and down? I yeah. see it moving a little bit right there. That's the heartbeat of the fetus. Probably one of the coolest things that I've done so far at the Zoo Academy is come and be with Terry and Charlotte. It's really fun, and the coolest part about it is how they, there's kind of like three steps. There's a the bladder, then the ovary, then the fetus. Kind of the steps and how the benchmarks of how this works. You get one area, one area, one area and how it all comes full circle and how you can do this a lot of times to check all kinds of animals pregnancies it's like really cool to learn about how this can be used in rhinos and different animals people kind of romanticize about conservation in the field and you know um, we like to give it a little bit of a reality check now and then and I do want to be a vet so this could potentially be work that I'm doing in the future and it was really helpful and it's really good to get an insight of what things I could be doing in my future um, the reaction we get from the kids and adults alike is fantastic. And I'm really grateful and honored that I get to do this. It's so cool. Learn a little bit about the technology and how ultrasound works, the importance of the keepers in training these rhinos, and um, why it's so important to crews work with, with rhino reproduction. It's just been a, a gold mine of information for us and has allowed us to make the great progress we've made. Um, and she turned out so well. I mean, she really exceeded my expectations because it's so real lifelike. You know, people walk in here and they, they do a second take because it's like there's a rhino in the room.